Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to fix errors when you attach files in Gmail. Now don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're updated whenever we upload a new video. Stick until the very end so you don't miss a single detail. Now the first thing that we need to do is when we are attaching files into Gmail, that we need to make sure that our file type and our sizes match the requirements of Gmail. So with our Gmail, we cannot attach mail that exceeds 25 megabits in size, and we cannot attach executable files or .exe file formats. If it's too big, Google uploads this to Google Drive, and then it will return a link. So as an example right here, I am trying to attach a video which is 75 megabits in size, and as you can see, there is this warning right here that attachments larger than 25 megabits is automatically uploaded. And then a download link will be included in terms of that email right there. Now here are some of the supported browsers for attaching files into Gmail, which are Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, and Safari. So make sure that you are using any of this for your email. Now, go ahead and check as well that your Google Mail cloud storage uh, has enough cloud storage. So for a normal user, Gmail allows us up to 15 gigabytes of free cloud space. And how we check that is we can go ahead and type in drive.google.com. And on the left side right here, you should be able to see how much of a storage size you have right here. So if you need to go ahead and clean up the space, then you can go ahead and click on this. Or if you want to get more storage, then go ahead and click on this. Now this will send us a link into Google One, where we can go ahead and upgrade into a higher cloud storage size. If that doesn't work for you, then go ahead and clear your cache and cookies on your device, as it may get corrupted over time. Now do take note that on iOS devices, you are unable to clear these cache and cookies, but for Android devices, this is what you can go ahead and do. So let's go into our settings and then go all the way down until we see apps right here. And then let's go ahead and search for Google Mail right here. And now what we need to do is we need to go all the way down and then check for storage right here. And then you should be able to see clear cache on the bottom right. So go ahead and click on this. And that would have cleared your cache. And if that doesn't work, another thing that we can go ahead and do is to update our Gmail app in our device or our desktop browser. So go ahead and go into App Store or Google Play Store, depending on the device that you have and then go ahead and search for Gmail. And then if there is an update right here, then you should be able to go ahead and update right here. Now, don't forget to reset your Google Mail and also reset your phone so that all of this will be activated once again. Now, in terms of the browser itself, so say for example, in Google Chrome, what we can do is go on the three dots right here on the top right, and then click on help right here, and then go on about Google Chrome right here. And then what would happen is it will go ahead and download automatically the latest version of Google Chrome. And then as you can see, all you need to do is to relaunch your Google Chrome right here. And then this would update your latest browser. Now, in terms of our handheld devices, we need to make sure as well that we have allowed permission to have access to our storage or our media storage. So what we need to do is to go into settings once again. And then let's look for apps once again right here. And then go ahead and search for Gmail and go ahead and click on permissions right here. Now, as you can see, we need to make sure that we have allowed right here our photos and videos 
as this has all of our media that we would like to attach to our email. So go ahead and click on this and then click allow right there. And there you go. So hopefully one of these are able to solve your problem in terms of fixing the errors when you attach files in Gmail. Hope that you have found this tutorial useful. See you guys next time.